So children, uh, we have seen uh, how the puppets came into existence based on the king's story that happened in China. And now, after as we have completed the lesson, now we will uh, go through the exercise part of the lesson. Okay. To start with, we have the meanings, read and enjoy, meanings part. So, we will complete this first and then we will go on to the next leg, next X. Hans times. The time when Han dynasty ruled ancient China. The Han dynasty was one of the greatest dynasties that ruled for over 400 years from 206 BC onwards. It's sometimes called the golden age of ancient China. Grief, sorrow, advice, guidance given by someone, interest, concern. Cheer, joy, troop of dancers, a group of dancers, to no avail with no result, brilliant, bright. Okay, so now uh, we will discuss the meanings again. So Han times means the time when Han dynasty ruled ancient China. I told you while explaining the lesson that uh, every country had this kind of uh, rulers and uh, uh, India had the Mughal rulers or the Chalukyas or the Kakatiyas, isn't it? So just like that, China was ruled by a king, uh, uh, a hereditary of a king. Okay. So they were known as the Han dynasty and uh, it was the best time that China ever had while being ruled by the kings and that's why it is known as the golden age of ancient China. Second word is grief, grief means sorrow, being sad. Third one is advice, guidance given by someone. So when we do some wrong or uh, something that is not good or something that is harmful, others suggest us, others, others give us some suggestions. No, it's not to be done like that. It has to be done in other way, isn't it? So that's kind, such kind of suggestions are known as advisors. <clears throat> Interest, concern, okay. Um, cheer, joy, troop of dancers, a group of dancers, to no avail with no result, of no use, okay, brilliant, bright, great, okay, so now I will leave it for two minutes and uh, you can read the meanings once.
Okay, children. Now we will check the next part. In read and understanding here, <coughs> we have got three sentences and uh, they are incomplete. So we need to identify the correct options out of the given ones at the bottom and uh, we need to keep this a tick mark, this particular tick mark uh, in the box given near the option. Alright. The emperor was sad because he missed his friends. Wife, the empress, parents, son. So whom did emperor miss the most? Was he worried that he missed his friends a lot? No way. Was it his parents? No. Was it his son? No. Then who was it? His wife, the empress. So we keep this tick mark over here. Right? The next question. The priest saw some children playing with. Yeah, the priest in the uh, palace as he was going, he saw some kids playing with something in the sunlight. Isn't it? Yeah, they were holding those things against the sun and they were playing with the shadow. So what was that? Was it toy cars? No way. Was it pets? No. Then what was that? It was dolls. Right? So the emperor was invited to watch a dash. So what was the emperor invited for? The priest went after the king and asked the king, No, please king, please my dear king, please come and watch this. What was that? Was that a magic show? No. Was it a dance show? No. Was that something a sports event? No. Then what was that? That was a puppet show. Isn't it? Yeah, the priest made two puppets. One like the emperor and the other like the empress. And they made a puppet show dance. Puppet show. Based on the stories from the happy times when the emperor had his empress. Isn't it? Yeah, that was a puppet show. So the... We will revise it once again. The emperor was sad because he missed his wife, the empress. The priest saw some children playing with dolls. The emperor was invited to watch a puppet show. Okay. So I'll give you a minute's time. Uh, meanwhile, you can simply go through these sentences once again. Okay. So now read it. Okay, now we'll go on to the next question type. Yeah, answer the following questions. So here uh, we will come across the different questions that are related to this chapter that what we have learned and we will answer them one by one. <clears throat> okay, so the first question, how did the emperor's loneliness affect him so after the death of his wife the emperor was very the emperor was very lonely 
and uh, how did this affect him? The emperor's loneliness affected his health and his work. Whenever the courtiers or ministers came to him for advice, he would simply say, No, I will look into the matters some other day. He gradually lost interest in the activities of the court and the people of his kingdom. So how was he affected by that? The emperor's loneliness affected his health and his work. He became weak and he was not much interested in the works. And if someone come and ask him about some advice, he would simply say, No, I will look into this matter another day. Because he had lost his interest in taking care of all these kinds of things. So, uh, he gradually lost interest in the activities of the court and the people of his kingdom. The people of his kingdom were the most affected people because of this issue. Okay? Yeah. Now the second question. Why were the people of the emperor's empire and his ministers worried a lot? Uh, we read this also. After the king became very sad, the people were much worried about their king. The ministers were much very much worried about the king. Isn't it? Why were they so worried? The people of the emperor's empire and his ministers were worried a lot as the emperor's loneliness affected his health and work. Initially, they had thought that the emperor would probably overcome his grief as time passes. So the people in his empire and his ministers thought that after a while as the time passes, the king will come out of his loneliness and everything will be set right, all right. Okay, but here what happened is the king became very lonely, he became very sad and he lost his interest in the welfare of the people, the kingdom and all and his health also was getting affected. So because of these reasons, the people over there and the ministers, the people of his empire and his ministers in the palace court were worried. Okay. So we'll have a minute's time to read this answer once, both the answers. Okay, now we'll go to the next set of questions. So name me two things that failed to cheer the emperor. So the emperor used to go to the garden, sit near the lake and see a lot of things. The people tried to do different things to make him cheer up, isn't it? So name any two things that failed to cheer the Emperor. So what were the things that failed to cheer the emperor? A fleet of swans flying in the uh, sky. A fleet of swans flying in the sky. A flock of ducks swimming in the pond. Or a herd of deer that roamed about freely are a few things that failed to cheer the emperor. So whenever the emperor felt lonely, he used to go to the garden and sit there and observe these things. So what did he see there? 
He saw a fleet of swans flying in the sky, a V-shaped figure, uh, a flock of ducks swimming in the pond, and a herd of deer roaming around there. Okay, so the emperor watched all these things, but uh, they couldn't uh, make the king happy. Right? Now we will check that. Yeah, next question. What, how did the priest make the puppet? So how did the priest make the puppet? The priest made the puppet with the cotton and painted it to look like the empress. So how did the priest make the puppet? The priest made the puppet with the cotton and painted it to look like the empress. So the puppet was made out of cotton and uh, he painted it in such a way that it looked like the empress. Right? So we will have another minute's time to read these answers. Okay? So now we will go on to the <clears throat> next question. Which stories did the priest narrate during the puppet show? So during the puppet show, the priest narrated some stories also, no? So what were the stories about? So which stories were they that the priest narrated through that uh, puppet show? So which stories were they? Yeah, the priest narrated the stories about the emperors. So what were the stories that the priest uh, showed there? The priest narrated the stories of the emperors. Now the last question. What was the emperor's reaction after the puppet show? So before the puppet show he was not much interested to come and uh, you know uh, watch the show. But after the puppet show what was his reaction? The emperor clapped his hands with joy and said, I would like to watch the puppet show every evening. I am delighted. He began to attend the court also. So uh, the king came there, king watched the puppet show and by the end of the puppet show, he clapped both his hands and he said he was very delighted. It means he was very happy and he wanted to watch this puppet show every evening. Okay. So he wanted to watch the puppet show every evening and he also started to attend the course. Right. So the priest, priest narrated the stories about the empress and after watching the puppet show, the king became very happy. He wanted to watch the show every evening and he started to attend the coach as usual. Okay. So that is the question answer part. Now you have one minute time to uh, read these two questions and the answers. Okay children, so we will go on to the next item. That's a hot question. Do you think the emperor was right at the beginning of the story or towards the end of the story? Give reasons to your answer. So in the beginning of the story, the king was very sad and he was not interested in the, uh, 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 the court or the welfare of the people. You know, he always postponed the things and towards the end, he became very happy, he became active and he started uh, attending the court and uh, taking care of the, yeah, the activities of the people, the welfare of the people. So, 
when was the store the, the king a right was in the beginning when he was a sad and a crying on the loss of his beloved wife or towards the end when he came out of that and started to take care of the people again so when was the king a right the emperor was a right at the end of the story it's not in the beginning of the story in the beginning the emperor used to live in the loneliness which affected his health and work he did not care about his people and the empire but finally uh, at the end of the story uh, the emperor realized to face sorrows and think of good things and happy moments in life so he began to move on in his life and to take care of his people and the empire so when was the, king, the emperor right the emperor was right at the end of the story because in the beginning of the story he was very sorrow he was very sad he always spent time lonely and uh, this affected he became very weak he became very weak by his health and he was not much interested in the activities of the the, uh, the court or uh, the welfare of the people also okay but by the end of the story he understood and realized that the sorrows are also the part of the life and uh, we should be ready enough to learn to overcome them so he realized that he understood his mistake he overcame his sorrows and again he started to take care of the people the welfare of the people attending the court and all na so towards the end of the story was the king a right king okay so that's it as far as exercise part is concerned with the textbook so we will meet in the next class with the grammar part okay so until then bye